things are happening. Big things are happening, people. <laughs> J'ai juste posé mon, euh, mon demande de nationalité française. And it was like such. It was so much preparation, like months and months of getting the papers. I still don't know if it's, it's accepted or not, obviously, because I just sent it. So we'll see if they accept it. But if it is, like, ah, I just want to like celebrate today because it's like such a big task to get all the papers, to get all of the translations and all that shit. Yeah. And it's such a beautiful day out. I feel like it's a sign. <sighs> wow. How should I celebrate? Well, first I'm gonna get some food because I'm hungry. She's just a girl, a girl in a French world. Also, I'm being such a good bestie to myself lately. Like, I have been planning fun things for myself to do. Like taking myself on dates, like this Saturday I'm going to see a theater show, a marionette show. Um, I'm making like plans with friends, like I'm the one organizing stuff, like. And I'm also like being nice to myself and like being very wary of like when I'm overworked and things like that. So yeah, I've been like working dig diligently on, um, on the journals that I've been designing. And by the way, thank you guys so much because in the last vlog, I asked you guys for like advice about like the different covers and things like that and it definitely helped. Like I think it's so cool that we're like creating this together. So right now I'm so freaking happy you guys I don't know where I left off this vlog I think I was like in the beginning of the week <laughs> I was I had just turned in my stuff for French nationality and then I was like I'm gonna celebrate and then I don't think I ever vlogged again after that but I've been working this week with my friend she started on my music video and she's doing the 3d animations um, I don't know why people don't think like music videos are important anymore, but they're so important and I feel like it just adds so much to the story. Yeah, anyway, I asked her to do the animations and she was like working on them and she just sent them to me and it's just like so good. Like I'm so obsessed with it and so happy and it's just so wonderful when you have things like that that just like come together. You know what I mean? I honestly feel like the more that I've risked in like trusting other people the better things turn out and I feel like at first it's hard to trust people with your vision but like when it comes together you're just like it's just like the best feeling in the whole world other than that um tonight I'm taking myself on a date I'm gonna go see a marionette show marionette and um in the fifth where I live they have a lot of really cool contemporary theater with like marionettes marionettes like which which are like um puppets but it's like contemporary and stuff and I this one looks really good, so I'm going to take myself out there. I think that'll be really good. Also, another thing in the, in the year that I felt like I was maybe ready for was to start, like, dating again. Not, like, dating in the sense of, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, like, we're dating. But I think that it would be cool to open myself up again to going on dates. I was listening to this 
podcast the other day and there was this one quote that like really resonated with me and it was being ready to not be lonely anymore is not the same as being ready to be in a relationship and i was like t and i was like oh my god so true like i'm not ready to be in a relationship i think but i think it would be nice to meet people to go out and do things i mean it's not evident like dating in general but also like dating as a person that shares their life online like Imagine if I date somebody, the first thing you're gonna do is like, if they like go on my Instagram and they see I have a following, we're gonna be like, why does she have a following? And then like put my name in Google and then like all my videos pop up and it's just a lot, you know? And it's just not easy to date in general at all. So anyway, that's the tea on me. I guess, I guess I am sharing about this and I'm gonna go out and gonna go to my marionette show tonight. Yeah, I don't take you guys over to this area of the fifth very often because it's not like the area that I live in. So anyway, I thought I'd be fun. I'll try and like film some of this spectacle and we can talk more tonight. All right, I'm on my way to the theater now. I have to kind of hurry because I'm running a little bit late. getting snacks 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 are so important when you're watching a show like i need my snacks it's like i got some m&ms and get some water what a what a Okay, so <laughs> the show just got out. It was really good. I'm glad that I actually ended up going. Um, it was very surprising too. It wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. It was, like I said, it was contemporary, but at the same time, it was like a very serious show. So basically, it's about this like family of buffaloes. And they did it kind of like, um, I don't know if you guys know about like Japanese um, puppet theater with like these big puppets. So these um buffaloes were like these big puppets and you'd have like you actually see the people manipulating the puppets which i think is really cool and um basically it's an urban legend about this family of buffaloes and one day one of their brothers goes missing and the parents know what happened but they never tell the kids like what happened to the son like it's never talked about and the whole play is just about how like there's this family secret and the buffaloes work at the laundromat and one day their mother goes missing too and the dad says that like the mom was eaten by a lion but like there's also like song and dance it's like very contemporary like i said and at the end they find out that the dad sacrificed the brother and made a pact with the lion because if he sacrificed one of his children then the lion would left would leave the other buffaloes alone so yeah they figure out eventually like the last scene 
is the oldest sister saying that, yes, yeah, she, she found out that the dad, Buffalo, had made a pact with the lion. And she said that she was always surprised by his choice to, fa- to sacrifice that child because it was apparently like the most dominant one and like the most the smartest one and he like drew the best and he just was like the most promising out of all the children and she said and she said she thinks the reason he did that is because um the dad was probably afraid that if he let that child live the other three kids would never learn themselves how to be dominant. And there's this really interesting quote um, that the daughter said at a moment, and she said like, in a troop, like in a group of buffaloes, you're only as fast as the slowest one in the group. And so basically he was trying to give a chance to the other buffaloes in the group. I don't know if I'm explaining this well. but anyway, what I thought was really beautiful about it is like the last line in the play. The sister was just basically like, um, even though like he made our father made a lot of mistakes, like he did his best, and I'm sure that you know when I'm a parent I'm gonna make mistakes, and I just hope that I do as well as they did. And it was just like a really beautiful piece about like how every family has their issues, and we're all just like doing our best and. It was interesting to see it played by <laughs> by buffaloes, you know what I mean? And um, that's what I really love about like contemporary puppet theater is, is they deal with human issues, but they do it in a way that's just like so poetic, you know? Um, for example, like the angst that the buffaloes had, like you felt it through like their animal presence and their yeah, just like the way that they interacted with each other in the play. But it also was very representative of how you feel at that time of your life. For example, they were teenagers when their brother disappeared and stuff. And so, anyway, it was very interesting. I tried to film a little bit of it because I, even though the set was very minimalistic, I just loved like the props and the way that the actors moved because even though you see them on stage, like they become, they become these puppets but <laughs> that quickly got shut down. I tried to like film a little bit on discretos. I wasn't gonna film through the whole thing, but I just wanted to like film a little bit for you guys, but. So yeah, I need to go. It's about 8 p.m. My friend asked if I wanted to go to get a drink, but I'm honestly really tired because I've been going out a little bit, a lot of bit <laughs> this week. So I think I'm just gonna call it a night and go home early. I'm gonna go to the store and get dinner. I'm gonna try and eat something healthy tonight because I've just been eating like shit all week. I don't know. It's like one of those weeks where I've just been eating a bunch of bullshit, but. Yeah. Anyway, I'm really glad. <laughs> I just like ate all of that gasoline. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck people. So, I'm very glad I did this date with myself. And. Yeah, it just takes like a little planning in advance to make sure that you have like activities for yourself to for yourself to do. But it's so worth it. Like I love looking at my calendar for the week and being like, oh yeah, I have this thing I can I'm gonna do on Saturday or whatever. So yeah. So what did I do today? Today I went and got my nails done for the first time ever in my life. I wanted to get them done because first of all, I always bite my nails. Like I bit my nails like my whole life. And I just wanted to stop and I thought if I got like fake nails and it would maybe like inspire me to stop but they're so weird like it feels so weird to have fake nails like I can't I'm not used to it like even like opening my purse like everything's taking me twice as long but on the other hand I'm like well it's good that you're doing things slower because I am I tend to be somebody that like rushes a lot and so this these are forcing me to slow down they're really pretty the girl was really sweet that did them too her name is Lua Nails anyway um, so, t- 
tonight we're having our first palace party of 2022. So I've been doing these like palace parties on my Patreon on Zoom and we always have like themes for them and um, this theme is going to be fairy themed. Um, so I think that should be really fun. And then I also just decided to book tickets to Cassis for my birthday because I don't know like I just feel like I should do something special. So I got this Airbnb for a couple of days and I think it's gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna vlog that. I don't know if it'll be in this vlog or like maybe another one. But yeah, I just also, ah, I just got a letter in the mail today saying that my French nationality application was accepted, which basically means like, you're not missing any documents. And I was so relieved by that because typically like, I don't know, from what I hear, people, their application gets sent back like, back like tons and tons of times. So now, normally, since my application was accepted, and it took me months to put this thing together, now that it's been accepted, the next step is my interview. And so they like send you a message like three weeks before your interview and they're basically like, you have an interview in two weeks and you have to know so much shit. Like you need to know like who is like the king of the sun, like all of these like different things that even French people don't know. Um, and so I have to start studying for that. I'm excited for tonight though. Usually what we do with like the palace parties is we like talk for the first couple a couple hours hour hour and a half like get to know each other and then we'll dance i'm excited like because a lot of times people like dress up and i just love like seeing everyone's energies i've been thinking about like maybe doing videos that are a little more like laid back a little more like with no edits in them like maybe i would do like dinner with shayna where i just like put down my camera and I have dinner with you guys and like we just talk as if I invited you guys over for dinner for like an hour. I don't know. Something about that seems very appealing to me. I don't know if that would be interesting to you guys. <laughs> Let me know. Um, because I think that something I miss about when I used to do like these long, really rambly videos is I didn't like it just felt like very vulnerable and spur of the moment like there weren't a lot of edits in them and even though they weren't like super complicated there was something about that that i found like super beautiful um and so maybe i'm gonna start doing those like maybe like once a month or something like that let me know si ça t'intéresse so yeah the palace party is about to start yeah and by the time you guys are watching this i must have released a new print which i'm really excited about i'm going to show you guys here it's i'm calling it the bestie print because i think so often in life we seek out that friendship we seek out like that connection with others and it's so important like female friendship that's all we really want is like a feeling of belonging and so it reminds me of like not only to be a good friend to others but also to be my own best friend like remember when i used to always say what would bestie do and i would ask myself like what would my imaginary like best friend that i had with me all the time i do have a best friend like a real best friend but if i had a best friend that was with me 24 7 that like lived with me and i was just like walking around and wondering what i should do in a certain situation i would always ask myself what would bestie do and like that bestie is supposed to be like the funnest like most supportive version of like a best friend that you can imagine and so this print like kind of reminds me of that like what would that fun part of myself do you know like for example the other day i was like, walking around and i had a lot of work to do but i also just wanted to like sit at a cafe and have a glass of wine and then i was like what would bestie do and i just like sat had a glass of wine watched the sunset and so yeah Anyway, if you guys are interested in this print, it's one of my favorites that I've put out and I'll be linking it down below. Tell me in the comments like what, if you guys have a best friend, tell me what makes them so special. And if you don't have a best friend and you want a best friend, write like what your perfect best friend would be like. Like what is the quality your bestie would have. One thing that I've always been really attracted to in friendships like best friends is I always liked being around people that wouldn't would always like just be down to do stuff even if it sounded crazy like wouldn't judge me 
if I was like, oh, like, let's like roll down this hill. That's like a really stupid example, but like, or like you just tell them about any idea or like, oh, we should do this. And instead of bringing you down, they actually gas you up and they're like, oh yeah, and then we can also do this. And then we could like put ribbons on it. Like, you know, they just like make it even, they just add fuel to your imagination, your excitement. Those are the type of people I like being around, people who aren't like judgmental and who you just feel like are there, for, like they're there to support you like 100% whenever you do like there's no judgment they just want like the best for you and I hope that you guys also see that in me like I hope that <laughs> um whenever I talk to the camera I always try to imagine it as if it was like my sister or just like one person not like a huge group of people so I hope that even if you you know like feel lonely or alone sometimes I mean I can relate I live alone I hope that you see like me even though like obviously I've met in real life as a friend and that's how I hope to be for you guys like a friend for you guys big sister little sister anyway just wanted to say that you guys are never alone I feel really lucky because I live in a big city and I do have access to a lot of people because of that but if you maybe live in like a smaller city or you just like haven't found people that like really you resonate with just know that like your people are out there and that's why the internet is so cool like you can connect with people from all over the world and um just because a connection is to the screen doesn't mean it's not real so anyway i love you guys ah! <laughs> i'm back did you guys hear the music while i was going and after all said and done We just finished the palace party. It was so wholesome. Like, I don't know, they, they normally last like three hours. And we just talk, like I make a list of like deep questions and we just like support each other and we're there for each other. And, but tonight was like particularly special. It just felt like very deep. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, whatever. I feel like I'm just like rambling. Like you don't need to know everything I'm doing like every single second of the day. Sometimes I'm like, do you guys, are you guys interested in this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Maybe I'll end the vlog here. Thanks for watching, you guys. I love y'all. Y'all are like angels from above. So I hope you have a beautiful week. Um, and one of the questions that I asked in the palace party, and that might be interesting for you guys to reflect upon, is do you think that you're someone that... Um, that leans more towards cultivating chaos in your life or order? Are you more attracted to like chaos or order? Think about that and I'll get back to you next week. Love you. The gay guys say I'm sexy, but I